So we're here today, it's like a program for children and youth affairs to support four women who've been on strike now and they've come into their third week of strike action. We're here today because we were all issued with letters to say we were made redundant, but if we wanted our jobs we could reapply for them and we would have to undergo an uh, interview process, nine month probationary period if we were successful and then it was, it's ultimately the same jobs that we're going to be doing, nothing is going to change, it's new job titles but the, the work itself, the organisation and the work that we carry out in that organisation is not changing. The message we want to deliver is we need the Minister to intervene on our behalf. We have tried to um, get the board and our CEO Bernadette Robinski burke to um, come back into talks with us and negotiate. We've been trying to do this since February, meet with them, actually back to December. We even went to the, the WRC on the 6th of April, they wouldn't come in and meet us. They walked away. The board have let us down, there are employers. The C has let us down. The minister has let us down. Nobody is listening. And because we're four people, they think that we we are lesser rights. We didn't take this decision lightly. We're all mature women with family commitments, huge financial commitments. We're into our third week of strike. We're financially in a bad way now. We, we did this because principally it's incorrect. We were here to try and uh, get the minister to use her influence to compel the employer to to intervene in regards to the dispute that, that's taking place and to compel the employer to um, engage in negotiations with impact. My name is Bernie Griffiths and I'm the manager with the Child Mind in Ireland and I have been employed in that capacity for 15 years. I'm here today because Child Mind in Ireland have um, forced through redundancies. Mine, my notice of redundancy elapsed last Friday. Green um, four staff here and one who has already been made redundant. We had over 60 years experience. I feel as if I've been let down, but we have been, the four of us have been let down by the board, by Childminding Ireland, by the department and by public. That nobody has listened to us. There's only four of us. We're only a small organisation and we feel that we haven't been listened to. Throughout this process, the board have shown a blatant disregard for staff and most recently by referring to us as old teenagers. Hearing that from the board member, whom I have worked very closely with for many years, was like a slap in the face and my colleagues and I have been demoralised and abandoned and have shown no fair process, contrary to what Bernadette Orbinski Burke, the CE, has said. We'd just like to thank you all for coming here today and supporting us.